Good afternoon, everybody. This is Terry with Super Sport Model Shop. Hey, just thought we'd do a short little video uh, on this 55. Uh, actually, uh, wanted to um, show everybody some uh, decals that I had picked up. Um, actually, from uh, Slicks Decals. It'd be Slicks decals.com um, I don't know if y'all can really see them can't get them up there too high I don't guess let me move this light up a little bit and see if that'll help any but anyway um, maybe you can see that uh, just uh, several different ones gas chamber strip teaser uh, rapid Ronnie uh, got all kind of stuff on there I uh, got several of those um, and got they all got New York uh, National Speedway uh, record holder. Um, this one here, uh, I've got some plans for that one there that says the Hulk on it. I guess you can probably see that. Um, I've got a special green paint that uh, I bought, and um, we're gonna try to actually uh, do that. Uh, gas are called a hulk so also got a super rat feeling groovy fool's gold uh we got uh to hell and back the moonshine runner hillbilly shaker black widow several of them that's uh there's another duplicate of that one uh Unfinished Business, Rampage, um, Blast from the Past, The Street Cleaner, Pure Insanity, got Jim Cook, Time Keeper, B&M Automotive, The Punisher, Wild Thing. I think they'd go on a gas that they couldn't keep control of. But anyway, those are uh, mainly gasser decals, I guess you'd say. Um, I do have uh, some here that uh, I don't know. People might not like them. But I got some gas monkey decals there that uh, can actually go on. Uh, 124 scale too uh, but uh, like I say a lot of people might not care for this guy but anyway just gonna show him to y'all but um anyway uh, let me get these things back in that drawer we um we took a little time out today didn't get a whole lot accomplished uh had to work yesterday. Had to go up to uh, Huntsville, Alabama, 373 miles from the house, and had to uh, go up there and um, pick up a container up there. But uh, most of my day was spent going up there, about 13 hours yesterday. So left, just went to the job site, and left about 6:30, and didn't get back home till about eight o'clock last night when I rolled in the yard but anyway um hadn't got a whole lot done today because um I don't know I can't give you a cause but anyway it uh I did a little touch up paint on this uh piping but we still got a little bit more a little bit more cause made it work to do on that stuff you can see it still got some little old small spots in it we're gonna get it smooth and like I say uh I don't know how that light's actually going to work. Let's see if I can do this without knocking the camera out the way. But anyway, I don't know. Let me get it back over here. But anyway, I ain't real sure y'all can see all of that. But uh, it's getting close anyway. So I still got to sand on a little bit. Try to knock some of that stuff down and get that done. Um, did put a uh i'm not sure that you can actually tell it with the light hitting it like it is uh we did put a coat of uh pearl white in that interior 
and have thought about it and I think we are going to do the purple and white on the inside but just not sure if we're going to put the purple in here in the inlay on the seats or if we're going to put it up here on the top uh, I got to figure that out but uh, like I say that's where we are on that anyway like I say you can probably see the little flash to it it does have a coat of paint in there on it so but um been working on that that seat trying to get what little bit of flashing off of it i think if i'm thinking right i'm probably going to go ahead and i may do the inlay on this seat purple and there's a little fine line i don't know exactly what they call that it's where your your two pieces of uh, material comes together and they put that little bead right on the edge of it i think i'm gonna try to dry brush that bead on there on both sides and then that center with purple kind of give it a little accent maybe i don't know y'all tell me what you think um hopefully i got that in the camera where y'all can actually see it my lighting's not the best in the world for the camera but anyway we're working on that uh let's say got a coat of pearl white on that dash got a little spot i got to get out of it up on the top but uh not real sure what I want to do with this. If I want to do the bottom part of this purple on here and then do the silver in the middle and leave this dash white. Uh, top of that dash white, but not real sure. But anyway, I'm sorry I'm dragging on this thing, guys. But like I say, you know, um, when it gets finished, it'll be, I guess as some of us say, it'll be my turd. But um, it's... Uh, not perfect by no means and uh but like i say it'll be mine um did uh did a little bit of uh novice today uh on the body and i think we pretty much do with it next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the uh bare metal foil on it i have not taken that front bumper and the wheelie bars out of the soak yet haven't even looked at it had it in there for a week so hopefully it's all coming off but um did a little bit of this novice too hadn't used the uh actual plastic clean and shine but um i put a little bit of novice on this thing today i sanded wet sanded this thing with some 3200 i didn't have any 3000 but i had some 3200 and uh did this novice on it first time i'd ever use this stuff so not real real sure that you can see get it over here where uh if you can see it it does shine pretty good uh it's only got one coat on it and i may put another coat that hood is just not i don't know I, i'm not not happy with it because it's still showing the line right down the middle of it i didn't sand it very well and also on this side here, it's got some scratch marks in it below the paint that I didn't get out. Didn't sand it out real good. But like I say, I'll get through with it. It'll be my turd and uh, it'll set on my shelf. And, uh, you know, like I say, it'll probably be, as of right now, one of the most detailed that I'm doing. I'm still working on some coilovers. Um, one of them actually came apart. So we got it back in glue again, trying to glue it down um but um that's about where uh where we are with the 55 um really enjoyed all the videos and stuff that um i know pappy put one up and brian put one up i looked at both of those there were some beautiful models there at acme um man just wished i could have could have made it um making plans for next year Hopefully we'll get to shake everybody's hand and uh, pick up some more uh, shop cards. And uh, we're going to work on getting a shop card together for everybody myself. Uh, actually talking to my wife today because she does stuff like that. And we're going to see if we can't get some shop cards made up with that Super Sport model shop on it. And uh, try to get them out to some of y'all guys. But anyway... I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to my channel uh, and all the likes. Man, I really appreciate it. Y'all are all awesome. Um, still watching everybody as far as videos 
see what they're doing and picking up new techniques and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully one of these days I'll put something out that uh, will be uh, model contest worthy. We're working on it, but like I say, anyway, appreciate all y'all. Uh, take care, and we'll catch y'all later.